Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from ATB Gaming. I got some tech news for you, so let's just get right into it. First up and foremost, some RTX 3090 news from Tom's Hardware. Uh, Gigabyte is the apparently the first ones here to introduce a blower design on their RTX 3090. Uh, to be honest, this thing looks aesthetically very pleasing, but people are obviously questioning whether or not Gigabyte's completely out of their minds, thinking they can cool a 3090 with a blower design uh, cooler. This will no doubt just be perfect for people who have got like a small form factor build, but this thing is gonna be packing some serious power and with that power comes heat. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got the best cooling available, especially if you're rocking, what is it, 24 gigabytes of DDR6X RAM or VRAM, crazy amount of power, crazy amount of money that will be spent on that. But I would imagine that if you're the type to go out and buy this RTX 3090, which will no doubt, I would think, be a little bit over MSRP on the Founders Edition from NVIDIA, you've probably got the money to provide proper cooling for it, regardless of the blower design. But I think for those of you rocking mini ITX builds, this is probably gonna be your best bet if you're looking to get that much power under a small case. Next up, we've got some news from Tom's Guide uh, on the PlayStation 5. So it's sounding like PlayStation 5 might be getting a Bloodborne remaster. So there's no official word yet. However, a French retailer by the name of Fnac uh, apparently had a listing posted for Bloodborne remastered PS5. Now, there's not really any official word yet from Sony on this. It would make sense to maybe remaster this game to take advantage of the PS5's new hardware since one of the biggest complaints with that game was long loading times. However, people are doubting the legitness of this because it's also part of the new PlayStation uh, Xbox Games Pass competitor. Um, so whether or not it'll actually come as a remastered version or if it'll just be a standard version for the PS Plus with maybe a few enhancements here and there, uh, is yet to be seen, but hey, if you can get a, a remastered version of any really high quality game like that that does remastered correctly, which is usually just fix the things that were annoying, make them, you know, nice quality of life improvements, uh, that would be cool for everybody, I think. Everybody would enjoy that, so we'll see what happens next. Next up in the news of computer hardware, uh, there is a official review out now for the Patriot Viper for Blackout Edition, which is the new 16 gig memory kit with incredible 4,000 megahertz clock speeds. Uh, really, really intense speeds. If you're looking to get out there and get probably some of the absolute fastest memory you can get in PC hardware on the consumer side of things, uh, there's good reason to believe that you're gonna have a fun time with this. Uh, pricing starts at a pretty reasonable 110 bucks on Amazon right now, it looks like. So if you're looking for some new memory, very stealthy, very nice black aesthetic, not a lot of RGB if you're not into that kind of thing. Uh, looking looking like pretty, pretty good memory and very fast memory at that. So I thought that was interesting. This one is super breaking news. The OnePlus 8TG has officially been announced as coming soon from OnePlus. So and in line with a lot of the T versions of the OnePlus phones, you're probably gonna see minor uh, quality of life improvements, hopefully a little bit similar price point, if not just slightly above. Uh, the OnePlus 8 was kind of starting to become a um, a complete divergence from what OnePlus's ideas were in terms of making affordable phones. And with the OnePlus Nord, they sort of corrected their path on that. And so far the OnePlus Nord has been pretty well received. So OnePlus 8T 5G has officially been announced as of today. Uh, you can go to a site right now to get notified when pre-orders will begin. Hopefully we don't run into another pre-order issue like everything else that's come out this month. So we'll see. Uh, and staying on OnePlus, another little tidbit for you who are rocking the OnePlus, uh, not Apple AirPods, the OnePlus Buds. Um, there will be a update coming to their app very soon, according to an article from The Verge, that will uh, make the pairing and quality improvements with non OnePlus phones that you've probably been missing out on. So other Android phones are gonna get a lot more friendly with the OnePlus Buds. So make sure you check the app store for that. If you don't have those, then this doesn't apply to you, but interesting to know. On top of Android news and Google news and phones and all that good stuff, YouTube has also blocked the iOS 14 picture in picture mode, unless you pay for premium. 
which of course inevitably led to people going, well, Google, I can get around this anyways. Uh, I've been a premium subscriber for a long time now just because I, I hate ads, but I also like having my music with the YouTube Music app. I know there's a joke that nobody uses it, but I've always, I've liked it. It's been nice. It's 15 bucks a month for me and uh, yeah, I enjoy it. So uh, good to see that YouTube is um, trying to make sure they can keep getting their money because God knows they don't have enough of it. Google has also announced a new Android TV um, that looks a little bit like a Chromecast dongle, but it'll have an Android TV style remote. So uh, for those of you who don't know, this is kind of like a, basically a Chromecast with an operating system built into it so that you can use a remote and control it. Very simple, you don't have to rely solely on the phone. I've been using a Nexus player, yes, a Asus Nexus player, since I can remember. I got it on clearance at Best Buy when I worked there. I've had it this whole time. It's stuck on, I think, Android 8, maybe? Android 10 is not coming to that thing. So uh, I've been kind of looking for something else because that thing's starting to slow down quite a bit and this little dongle looks very aesthetic and sleek and the remote looks really nice. So we'll have to see. Yeah, guys, that's some of the tech news I read this morning when I woke up and wanted to share with you guys. I'm gonna try this as a little bit of a new format and uh, see how it goes. But if you liked it, you know, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe if it's something you wanna see more of. Uh, a reminder as well, of course, I've got a second channel with my best friends that I do called The Buddy System. There'll be a link in the description. Podcast, Let's Plays, all that kind of junk coming to it. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the tech news for today. I will see you next time and thanks for watching. Bye-bye everyone.